Aarhus River is the longest river in Aarhus municipality and has a catchment area of around 300 square kilometers. Its lower stretches are less than 2 meters above sea levels and flows through the city of Aarhus for several kilometers before reaching the Bay of Aarhus. Aarhus River has been an important source of life for millennia. More than 6,000 years ago in the Late Stone Age, people settled along the lower part of the river, which at that time was a shallow fjord. Over time, the fjord became a river and in the mouth of the river out to the Bay of Aarhus, the city of Aros emerged. Today, the river flows through two lakes, Brabant Su and Orslov Engsu, which are internationally important and protected natural areas and at the same time close to the city. Orslov Engsu was artificially created in 2003 to prevent nutrients from reaching the Bay of Aarhus. Since then, it has been shown that both lakes also have the capacity to retain the surface runoff from the surrounding catchment, thereby having a positive climate mitigation effect and helping to prevent flooding of the urban area. From the lakes, the river valley narrows and inside the ring road, the river flows in a typical river valley with steep sides. On the right side of the river, large reed forests form a natural boundary to Esgalunen, which was once an island in the ancient Ice Age landscape. In recent times, the area has been used as a landfill. Today, the landfill is covered, nature is reclaiming the area, and from 2021, parts of Esgalunen will be the city's new main concert and event area. Downstream Esgalun, the reed forest expands. Although the town is just behind the reed forest and the carpet of creeping vines, it is almost a jungle experience when canoeing in the river. On this stretch, the river is surrounded by urban areas that have for a long time turned their backs on the river. Through urban transformation, as here at Fragment Centralen, the river adds new recreational qualities and rediscovers the identity of Aarhusians as river dwellers. The river is now again of great value to the city of Aarhus. In the recreational nature area along the riverbanks, the site of grazing cows from the Voluntary Association or Brinken Nature and Cow Grazers Association can be spotted. The association's members take care of the cows and helps in promoting good nature quality. The river still has its natural character, although the city is getting closer. The green and quiet surroundings around the river here is a main traffic route for pedestrians and cyclists across the city, but away from the other traffic. In the distance, you can see Gospenen. Gospenen is another urban development area that will have many new workplaces, residential area and university student campus, which will benefit from the proximity to the river. At the Siri city, the river really opens up. Here, parks and trees are preserved and create a cohesion between the river and the new district. Aarhus River has always been an important source of life for the city. Until the 1920s, the population of Aarhus grew to just over 100,000 inhabitants. The sewer system was established in the city and the Aarhus River became an open sewer line, where the wastewater was now discharged to the river without any treatment. In the 1930s, the need for a traffic connection to the port area increased. The city council therefore decided to cover the river and replace it with O Boulevarden, a road which was the main traffic route to the harbour through the city centre for the next approximate 50 years. As a side benefit, the dirty river water and the smell from it was encapsulated under the road from Vesta Ali to the harbour. In the 1980s, there was a strong desire to use the river between Brabant Su and the harbour for recreational water activities. At the same time, there was also a strong desire to create an attractive urban environment along the river and the waterfront. In 1989, the City Council therefore decided that the river should be reopened. Since the water quality of the river was very poor, the Aarhus River project was launched in 2005 with the aim to improve the water quality significantly and to remove odour nuisances. The project's goal was also to take into account the rising water levels due to climate change and heavier rainfall. A better water quality in the river also meant a better water quality at the beaches near the city. The Aarhus River project was carried out from 2006 to 2014 in close collaboration between the municipality of Aarhus and the water utility Aarhus Water. As part of the project, eight large underground retention basins were established for temporary storage of diluted storm and wastewater in the event of heavy rainfall. The retention capacity of the basins is approximately 50 million litres. Most of them are hidden under paved areas. 
Approximately 70 sewer outlets were decommissioned and instead surveyed by intelligent IT solutions. The storm and wastewater flow was directed to underground basins and further to the wastewater treatment plants. The treatment of wastewater was improved and the capacity of two large wastewater treatment plants in Vipu and Opu was expanded. The treatment also implemented new IT solutions, and today the entire wastewater system is monitored and controlled by one control system. The total cost of the Aarhus River project was 340 million Danish kroner, which equals 45 million euro. The Aarhus River project has had a huge positive impact on the urban environment along O Boulevarden. Today there is a thriving outdoor life with cafes, restaurants, hotels and pubs especially on the stretch from Immervel to Europa Pleds. At the mouth of the river, a sluice and pumping station was installed in 2015. This protects the central parts of Aarhus from flooding from the Bay Area, which is an increased threat from the rising sea levels and heavy rainfall as a result of climate change. In less than 10 years, the river of Aarhus has successfully been transformed from an open sewer line to a popular recreational area. It is of great value both as a meeting point for the inhabitants of the city and it also attracts thousands of tourists every year. Aarhus is an attractive city to live and work in, and the city is growing every year by approximately 5,000 new citizens and 2,000 new jobs. This means that the municipality of Aarhus, in close collaboration with Aarhus Water, also in the years to come, have a big and important task of continuing to improve and ensure the water quality in the Aarhus River system closely coordinated with the development of the city.